Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Freestyle Dash 2.0 and Dash Launch 2.04 and this is assuming you have the latest Freeboot 0.04 installed so you'll need these two files here, FSD2 and Dash Launch version 2 so we'll go and uh, extract those okay alright so that's our uh, Freestyle there and Dash Launch in here so we'll start off by installing uh, Freestyle Dash 2, which is very simple. And you'll need the USB flash drive, although you can optionally transfer these over via FTP or your method of choice. So let's just um, go in here to Disk Utility and I'll format my uh, USB drive. If you're using OS X, make sure you partition it uh, one partition and uh, set it as a master boot record. And we'll make a fat partition delete the name okay so we have our new partition now um, so we'll go and um, copy all those files onto the drive and we'll just get rid of those next up we're going to go in here to our dash launch folder and on the USB drive we'll make a few folders we'll make one called dash launch misspelling for the loss and um, one called freestyle FSD and we'll just uh, grab the media skins and the default and drag those into FSD and then we can take some files from here so we're going to take the installer and stick that in there and we'll put that under dash launch you'll see in here we have a sample underscore launch dot ini so we'll go ahead and uh, rename that just to launch.ini. If you have a look in the info launch INI file here, you can find all the possible entries you can add to your um, launch.ini, but we'll just go with the basics. So um, we'll have a look at the launch INI here. We have a few different um, content paths here. For example, we have button X, which is our alternate boot here. And we have our defaults, which is currently set to XEX menu. We have the NXE Mini, which redirects us back to the um, Dash Launch software whenever we hit the uh, Return to Dashboard from the Mini NXE menu. And we have Ping Patch, which um, basically patches the 30 MS ping limit. So first off, we will just go and uh, cut out HDD and paste it down here for the moment. Then we will cut USB and paste that into default and change USB to HDD then we'll take XEX menu here cut that and paste that in as the alternate startup and just hit space there to get back our default that looks fine the alternate startup will take us to XEX menu and the default will take us to freestyle we just need to make sure that we duplicate this um, pad structure here in our actual hard disk so we'll be creating a folder on our hard drive called freestyle within which we'll have the freestyle dash dot xex and we'll go ahead and save that now and we'll quit text edit so now we'll go and copy the launch dot ini into the uh, files directory here and um, that should just about do it so now we'll connect this USB drive to our 360 and uh, start the setup first thing we want to do here is press x and go to USB 0 press Y on media we'll go copy then we'll go to our uh, hard drive one make a new folder in here create and we will name the new folder in accordance with the name listed in our file which you saw a moment ago we'll just bring that up now desktop launch INI and then um, here we've got freestyle freestyle dash alright so we'll name the folder freestyle I can't stand typing with a controller, it's so inefficient, but anyway, continue, and uh, freestyle there, press Y, paste, go back to our USB drive, freestyle dash, skins, copy, back to a hard drive, paste, back to our USB drive, copy debug, back to hard drive, paste, there has to be an easier way, back to USB 0, default, copy, 
back to hard drive, paste. So here we have defaults.xex, but for some reason beyond my comprehension, xex menu doesn't have the capability to rename files. And by the way, it's snowing pretty heavily outside, you should be able to hear that. I mean, quite a lot the last few days, it's been like the Arctic here, literally. About just over half a meter of snow on the ground. But anyway, um, so we'll go over here to the wonder of uh, Cyberduck, the free FTP client, and we'll go open connection, and we'll type the IP address, the local IP address of our console. So 192.168.0.13, and um, username, Xbox, password, Xbox. Click connect. And here we have our hard disk. So we'll go hard disk one and freestyle. And we'll go ahead and rename defaults.xex, rename. And we'll call this, and let me see here. Delete that. Freestyle dash. All right. And now we should see the changes being reflected here. Yep, there we go. So now we can proceed. From XEX menu, we'll go to our USB drive, press X, USB 0, and then um, dash launch. Oops, not dash launch, FSD, default, run that. And where do you want to save the dashboard to? We'll go with the Xbox hard drive, give it a moment. All right, and we are now in the freestyle dashboard, which has been successfully installed to the hard disk. Next, we'll go ahead and install uh, dash launch. So let's go down here to Utilities, and we'll find File Manager, navigate to USB 0, and we'll find Dash Launch, Installer, and we'll run default.xex, okay, hit A to install. It has now written the INI and the XEXs. Flashing done, press A to shut down. The console should now boot on its own. If it doesn't, just hold the um, Xbox button on your controller like I'm doing right now and the console should boot. Okay, there we go. Now, if everything has gone according to plan, we should be seeing Freestyle Dash right about now. And we have booted into Freestyle Dash. And we're going to go ahead and sign into a profile now. Okay, and you'll see here, we have System Link Patched. So, um, that's from my previous uh, KXAM file, which I put on the root of my 360 hard disk, and that's taking effect. So now I can go ahead and uh, sign into uh, Xlink and play online despite the uh, 30 uh, MS ping limit, which has been removed. So um, that's it. You now have Freestyle Dash, the latest version, and uh, Dash Launch 2.04 to use and enjoy. So, yep, not wanting to break up the monotony now. Thank you very much for watching, please do subscribe if you found this useful, and I will see you in my next video. Live long and prosper.